Okay. Part of the whole phenomenon of spatially anchoring and connecting dots is because I believe that most people learn better unconsciously than they learn consciously. In fact, most of what you've learned in your life, you have learned unconsciously. Now, if we can take things and connect them together, that is to package learning so that it goes into the unconscious, and most people haven't studied much about this because it's very hard to consciously study unconscious things. However, it's very easy to do them. Um, a gentleman got in the elevator with me this morning and uh, he said to me, he said, I really want to thank you uh, for not being as violent a person as you can be. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, when I haven't had my coffee yet, that's not the smartest thing to say. But uh, he said, well, you know, he's always, he always takes notes and he can't stop himself from taking notes and I haven't killed him yet. Um, he said, but he's been working with other people in here and learning to trust his unconscious and discovering that things are in fact going in. That in spite of the fact you've had years of education where they told you, you must do show your work. That's my favorite stupid thing that teachers do. Uh, teachers believe that math is visual and it's not. All great mathematicians are kinesthetic by de definition. We squiggle visual things around to get a feeling. It's the feeling that tells you whether you're right or not. Now the reason teachers have you show your work is so that they know what you've done. Now when I was in school, teachers would do things like they would say, okay, Richard, go up to the blackboard and do this problem. And they'd uh, give me this complicated problem. They'd say, okay, give us the, uh, okay, x equals y times 15 divided by the square root of h. And I would go minus 1. And they would go, but you didn't show the work. And I'd go, there wasn't any. <laughs> Because if I ask you to multiply five times five, you don't actually go and make fucking pictures in your head. It just comes out poof, like this. And when things come from the unconscious automatically, this is the very mechanism that works. Now, if you don't teach people things right, it won't come out automatically. What happens is, is that people can do one thing, but they can't keep track of the other. This is part of the problem people had yesterday, is that they got that, they were busy thinking about the handshake interrupt, instead of thinking about the fact that it was only a way. Because the real handshake interrupt was when you stopped your hand, I wanted you to get the response from the audience. Because not just does the hypnotic subject go into trance, so does everybody else.